Okay, I also wanted to quickly show you how to add links to your blog posts, um, particularly linking to other pages. Um, so what you want to do is you want to go to your blog in the editor. I'm going to close out of this. Um, so here's your, your home page when you first get to the editor. Then you click over here on my blog and then click on manage your blog if you want to edit existing posts. So right here, I'm going to go into the small gems number three, and I'm going to link the click here's um, in this email. So it's very simple to add links in the blog. Um, you just simply highlight the words that you want to link, just like I've done this with here. With uh, It looks like there's a blue highlight to it um, when it's selected. Then you'll see this little menu pops up here. Um, you can also click on this more tab to kind of get additional options if you want to add bullet points or indent text and so forth. But in this case, we want to use this little link icon, which looks like a little chain link. You click on this, and then you'll see it gives you all these different options on things to link to. So you can link to a web address, an email, even a PDF document. Um, in this case, we want to select page because we want to link to one of your pages. And then I'm going to scroll down to the one that I want, which is the for sale. Um, and then I hit OK. Now you'll see a little underline appears on that link, and now it's linked. Um, that underline kind of indicates that that link has been applied. So I'm going to do the same thing with the second um, instance of it here. I'm highlighting it. I click on the link. I click on page. And then I select the for sale or whatever page I want to link to and hit OK. And now you'll see that little underlined appears again. Um, so that's it. It's as simple as that. Uh, you can also link images, which I think is always great. So um, when you click on these, there's two things you should do. Um, one is you should add an alt text. This is tells Google what this picture is. Um, and I always think it's good to use kind of keywords that you want to be found for. Uh, so we're going to call this watercolor paintings for sale by Dennis Pendleton. And then you can also link this. Um, same thing, you find this little link icon here, you click on it. Um, I already had linked this before, so this for sale is already selected, but if, you, uh, if it wasn't linked, it would just be grayed out and then you would have the same option. I'm gonna go ahead and show you. I'll click here, see I've removed the link. Now if I click here, I can choose page and then choose the page I wanna link to, in this case, again, the for sale page and then hit OK. Now this image is linked as well. Um, so that's it. This is how you link in your blog um, to other pages or to other um, outside websites if you want. Um, so as you blog, uh, it's always really good to link to your other pages because it kind of promotes people to explore more of the site. So whenever you have an email, it's, um, it would be good to link to a couple of your pages. Like you could say, check out my tutorials or check out more about my classes here and then link them to your class page. Um, so that's it. Let me know if you have any other questions and don't forget to add this little alt text here to these, to any pictures, cause that'll help with Google and search engines. Um, and, uh, it just kind of helps identify the picture in Google's world. Um, and also kind of peppers it with some keywords um, for people, what people might be set searching. Um, that's it. Let me know if you have any other questions. Make sure to publish your post when you're done, of course.